I film a fair few interviews and therefore have a bit of a process on how I edit the, uh, the audio uh, of that interview with a music bed underneath so I can get this video turned around fairly quickly and out the door. So I'm going to be covering uh, audio volumes um, and also EQ. You can probably hear there's a little bit of music underneath my voice um, and this is really common with interviews. So you've filmed an interview, you're now editing it and you put a slight sort of music bed underneath. Now this is great, one it helps just you know cover up those slight little gaps, adds a little bit of atmosphere and sets the tone often for the interview and it's quite common throughout a, you know, a number of interviews you might even change the music to sort of you know, depend what they're talking about. Um, but there's a little bit of editing required in this. Um, obviously the first one that we're going to look at is, is adjusting the volumes because you need to be able to hear uh, the voice so you're not going to want the music too loud. So we're going to look at audio ducking and techniques you can use for that. Um, but secondly we're going to look at some EQ. But first we're going to look at a little bit of EQ on the the voice of the person you, you're filming so in this aspect on this video we're going to be looking at myself because I'm going to show you how I have edited this exact clip um, and secondly adding some EQ to the music that you've put underneath because uh, there's ways you can just reduce some, some of the frequencies that clash uh, with a voice so the aim of this at the end is to still have music underneath but to really clearly be able to hear the interviewer's voice Okay, I wanted to show you very simply how I edit um, interviews, so audio with music underneath. Um, and I thought, what well, better to do it on the actual video that you're, you're watching and you've, you've just actually seen, because um, you would have heard a little bit of music underneath. So I've put together my timeline of my little introduction to the video and how I edit the, uh, the audio. Then, of course, my YouTube intro and then the main bit. So you've filmed an interview, you're now editing it. So, um, I'm going to show you a couple of bits of what I do. So, first of all, on the two of them, um, I'm going to place a compressor. Okay, so I'm just searching for compressor under audio effects. I'm going to drag it on each one. Um, now, again, I just am doing this to give the levels a little bit of a boost, and I keep everything on, on default. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. Um, just, yeah, very simply, just dragging it on, putting it on there. So an email came in then, it distracted me. So, right, uh, let's have a little look. So I'm going to play it through without the compressor. Process on how I edit the uh, the audio and with the compressor of that. Oh, it would help if I was actually on the right track, wouldn't it? So, <laughs> look, what I'll do is I'll just turn it off and on again um, as we're playing, and you're, you should hear the difference. Process on how I edit the, uh, the audio of that interview with a music bed underneath so I can get this. So you've probably heard how it makes a difference. You can actually look at the levels as well and you can hear it's made a difference. And the same on, on this one. Um, if I turn it off, number of interviews, you might even change the, then the compressor, the music to sort of, you know, depend what they're talking. So let's put the levels up. So I'm happy with that. Um, added a compressor. I'm then going to add an EQ. Um, and there's two reasons for this. First of all, um, this is where I do come out of the default. Um, I drop it down, I come onto voice, and I select voice over EQ. Same on this one here. Um, channel EQ, voice, voice over EQ. So let's have a little listen uh, of that interview with a music bed underneath so I can get this video turned around. This is great one, it helps. You know, I'm quite happy with how my voice is sounding there, so we're all good. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the first part of getting me ready. We're gonna go back to the EQ in a bit, but first of all, well, next step is to add the music underneath. So I've got an audio track and I'm literally gonna drag it down on here. So let's have a little listen. I film a fair few interviews and therefore have a bit. So it's already sounding too loud and if I hear it when the beat has kicked in, the atmosphere sets the tone often for the interview and it's quite common. Yeah, see, that is just not going to work, is it? So uh, first of all, it's far too loud. Um, what I tend to do, and you can obviously see there's music on this bit here, so we're going to have to get rid of that, but as very simply, I'm just going to pull down on the total track and just reduce the volume a little bit. It cover up those slight little gaps, adds a little bit of atmosphere and sets the tone often for the interview, and it's quite common throughout a, you know, a number of interviews, you might even change the music. 
Yeah, I'm quite happy with that as about a volume. Audio of that interview with a music bed underneath, so I can. Yeah. Editing it, and you put a slight sort of music bed underneath. Now, yep, yeah, happy with that. However, you probably still spotted this bit here that. Obviously, while this volume's louder, we don't really want a little bit of a, you know, any clash of any other audio. So I'm going to drop the audio on this bit. And the way I simply do that, I use the range selection. I'm going to come on here and I'll pretty much go there. Maybe bring it just a little bit either side. Um, there you go. And very simply, just pull this down to zero. Um, and as you can see, and I'll zoom in a little bit, it has put a couple of points in here. If I drop back onto the... Select tool, you can see they're here. That's 21. Let's see if I go up to 21. So it's done a fade. So let's see how that's sort of done. So EQ. You know what? I'm quite happy with that. That's not too bad. Let's have a listen this side. You can probably hear there's a little bit of music. Yeah, that's right. I could probably have that coming a little bit earlier. So I'm just going to pull that back a little bit. So. You can probably hear there's a little bit of music underneath my voice. Um, and this is really cool. Okay. Happy with that. Now, uh, one extra little bit that I'm going to do, and it does depend on the track that I've used underneath, but uh, I'm going to look at the EQ on my voice. Um, so if you come over to the channel EQ, just hit the little icon there. I'm going to hit Analyzer. And now when I play through, you're actually going to see the, the sort of frequencies my voice is giving off. Common with interviews. So you've filmed an interview, you're now editing it, and you put a slight sort of... So we can see, I've just paused this, I've got some peaks here, so that's sort of 170, maybe 150, all the way up to sort of 550. This is actually that sort of 150, 550 is where the majority of my voice sits. I'm quite low up this end. Um, so what I'm going to do is have a look at the EQ on the music track underneath and possibly reduce the frequencies slightly where, the, where sort of my voice sits. Um, and this will just help my voice come over a little bit more. And this is a way you can actually get away with maybe having the music a little bit louder but taking out the frequencies. And, you know, just use your ears on this one, see what looks good. So I'm going to come on to here, um, and I'm going to add an EQ onto the music. Open it up, and actually let's analyse it for a little bit and see if there are any frequencies. Remember, my voice was sort of around this part here. Let's have a little playthrough. So, yeah, look at this. We can see some frequencies exactly where my voice is. So all I'm going to do is pull them down a little bit. Let's have another listen. You can probably hear there's a little bit of music underneath my voice. Um, and this is really common with interviews. So you've filmed an interview, you're now editing it. So if I pump this right up, you'll, you'll hear why I'm taking them out. And you put a slight sort of music bed underneath. Now, this is great. One, it helps just you know, cover up those slight little gaps, adds a little bit of atmosphere and sets the tone often for the interview and it's quite common throughout. And there we go. I'm pretty much happy with that. So basically I've added, added a compressor uh, to my voice. I've added a little bit of EQ. I've looked at the frequencies and then with the music underneath, I've reduced the volume, um, done a bit of what they call audio ducking. So gone from the, the 21 right down to zero and then back out again. Um, and then just taking a little bit of the frequency down on this sort of audio track to help my voice stick through a little bit more. So if I little listen. You can probably hear there's a little bit of music underneath my voice. Um, and this is really common with interviews. Yeah, I'm pretty much happy with that. One that we're gonna look at is, is adjusting the volumes because you need to be able to hear uh, the voice. So you're not gonna want the music too loud. Um, and now actually I've taken the, uh, a little bit of the EQ. I could make that a bit louder if I wanted. Um, the final part to do is obviously I want to clip off the end, so I'm just going to get rid of this bit. Might be saying on the end here. Uh, you've got two choices. Either you can come on, there's a little keyframe as such there, you can just drag it and that will fade out the music. Hear the interviewer's voice. Yep. Or I'll bring it a little bit further along so you can sort of see. There you go, so it's got a bit of a fade out there. Hear the interviewer's voice. Now, if you want a bit more control over that and it's a little bit tight, you can add keyframes. So actually I'm just gonna put a keyframe in here. So I'm gonna come up onto the volume, add a keyframe. You see it's gone yellow now. I'm gonna bring this right to the end. Um, I'll bring it in one, just actually make it easier. And add a keyframe again. Um, and then, oh, I can just about see that. 
best bet because it's so tight. Just up here where I've added the keyframe, just pull this volume down and you can see that it's faded out. So Hear the interviewer's voice. There we go. Um, and that's what I do.